Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. Blender 4.1 is here in its stable release. We're out of the candidate and beta versions and it's got this lovely new splash screen by Lynx Design, this interior here. So there are a couple of um, potentially confusing or game changing or workflow changing changes to Blender. So we'll quickly grab this cube and we'll just duplicate that a couple of times okay and we'll open all three and we'll just give them all a bevel not that much something like this so now we've got the three cubes and you can see that we've got all of these hard edges here now previously if you wanted to auto smooth something you'd right click and you'd hit auto smooth but you can see this has been changed to shade smooth by angle okay so we'll click on that now and you can see it's shade smooth, but to see what we're doing, we'll change this to something like 13.6, 13.5, and click enter. We'll just drag that down until we've got that. Okay, so 15.7. And what you can see here, we've got these sharp edges and these smooth corners. We'll just copy this number, control C. So that's been done. So now we've also got um, smooth by angle. And if we just copy that value in there and type ignore sharpness, we're getting more or less the same effect. I can't tell if it's exactly the same effect. I think it's a little bit different, but we've got the same angle, the same angle and the same smoothness in, in each place. So they're pretty much identical. But the, the big difference is, is this one, if we go into edit mode, you can see that all of these edges have been marked sharp. So this has been a destructive scenario. Okay, these have all been marked sharp apart from here, where this one is non-destructive, it's parametric. So you can continue to edit your normals until press control A on here or apply uh, modifier um, and then it will be baked in. So we'll go back a couple of steps. Okay, so that's all good and well. There's one more way to do it and that is by going into geometry nodes. So if we just go new here, and you'll notice that if we go into here, we can go shade smooth, um, hang on, smooth by angle. Okay, and that's there. And then if we type in the same uh, dealio and click ignore sharpness, we get the same thing. So we've got three ways to do the same thing. So we've got the hard baking Param, uh, non parametric destructive version. I'd probably avoid this in general if you, I don't know, if you're a direct modeler, go for it. If you want a little bit more control, we can use the modifier. And if you want even more control, you can use the geometry nodes. This will come in handy in a lot of scenarios. Okay, so that's number one. Um, we'll delete all of those. And I think the second game changing thing is the animation workflow. Um, so as you can see here we've got this uh, fan when you used to press I and animating you would get this insert keyframe member uh, menu and then you would have to choose something now if you press K you get that menu okay and if you press I it just inserts a keyframe with basically everything in there and if you go to um, edit preferences and come down to key map and do pi menu on drag okay now if you hold down i um, it will create this pi menu for you so you can choose your options that way so what we could do is we could just press i on this okay take it over to 20 frames something like that maybe 22 frames rotate it on the y by 360 Okay, press I, make it linear, and then we can um, grab a graph editor and add a modifier cycles. Okay, and we should just have a spinning blade, and that was really quick. We didn't have to search any uh, menus, we just had to press I once. And then what we can do is we can, once we've got the blade spinning, what we can then do is grab this little rig rotate that over there press i bring it to the middle 
rotate it um, to the other side, press I, and then just drag this one to the end. All right, we've got our spinning flan. And it only took a few less clicks than what it used to have would have done. Okay, and I think that looks really nice. One final thing that's not really a game changer, but there's been improvements in the compositing. So we can now get all of these glare effects and things like that just by having our compositing um, on. So if we just go and turn this onto rendered, and I've just made this like silly little um, thing, but live compositing, great stuff. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. There's a lot more changes. Uh, there's more changes to do with animation and things like that. And this fan will be the feature of my next tutorial. So like and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss.